Persic reached out to the controls, hesitating a moment before pressing the electric start button. The bike instantly purred to life and time stopped. We stood there in silence for several long breaths as that garage became a church with the internal combustion engine, a fragrant prayer, its steady rhythm, a song lifting to the heavens. He let his hand gently rest on the throttle, fingertips drinking in the vibrations as his gaze traced across the familiar gauges, the lines of the hand-painted tank, the worn saddle, the dull shine of the old exhaust pipes. He looked up for an instant, then slowly, cautiously, twisted back the throttle, and the engine's sonorous note grew to a howl, filling the garage and the whole world with an undeniable screaming joy. His eyes, now bright and wide, filled with the secrets only an old man can know, and I am sure I saw the sudden recollection of a thousand miles, and the unexpected memory of many, many good things yet to come. It was only a moment, but much, much more than just the crowning moment of two weeks of wrenching on an old motorcycle. It's curious because the magic didn't come from where I expected. It was not from meeting a famous man who wrote a book I've especially enjoyed. The magic came from the mystical exchange where his soul and this old machine overlapped and that I was graced to have witnessed the moment as it happened, that I was given the gift that my hands helped orchestrate it and that for the briefest of moments i was present with eyes to see <clears throat> dear stephen thank you for working on my motorcycle robert persig he held my copy of his book in his hands casually resting it in his lap almost absent-mindedly he focused on what he wrote not because it was important, but because his hand shook just a little bit while writing. He joked about his aged penmanship and handed the book back to me, smiling. It clearly was not a big deal, but I received that book in my own two strong hands, and I held it like electricity were in my fingertips. And as I walked back to my truck, I was aware of its weight, and as I pressed it to my chest, I felt the sudden memory of a thousand miles. and knew the promise of many many good things yet to come.